So Kanye and Michael Cohen seem to have struck quite the friendship. Why? <laughs> That's pretty much all I want to know. Um, Michael Cohen was Donald Trump's fixer, and Kanye was Donald Trump's black little friend, I guess. So, why are they friends? Is Michael Cohen trying to warn him, hey, listen, or what, why, 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 why? And excuse me, his, actually, his name is not Kanye West anymore. He has legally changed it to Ye, Y-E. And he said, I believe a long time ago, that Ye, um, so I'm calling Ye, but it's Ye, whichever one. Because Kanye, Y-E, at the end of his name, so they called him Ye, but I believe he pronounces it Ye because it is a word that's in the Bible more times than the word God or something like that, I forget. But it means you. So that's why he changed it. Legally to ye or ye. Anyway, Nine of Wands is our first card here. And the Emperor. Interesting. Nine of Wands or Nine of Cups. Ace of Swords, Six of Cups. Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, Chariot, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. This is kind of like the Broken Hearts Club, actually. This is, um, I think they found a bond between the two. Like, they may actually be friends. Um... Because we don't know much of Michael Cohen other than his time with Donald Trump. But they... Okay, so you have the Nine, nine of Wands and the Emperor. The Emperor is about power, uh, strategic, um, war, that type of thing. This is the fatherly figure. <clears throat> then there's the Nine of Wands. There is something about climbing um, to the higher ground. But it's it's taking a lot of strength, a lot of tenacity... So this is this is the person who has been overworked type of thing. Or you're feeling stressed and strained about your current circumstances. So there is something here personally about power, about gaining personal power. They may actually have some sort of little bond over failure. Um, not That's not a dig. It means, you know, just... They both have had very trying times this past four years like everybody else, but... There's a common bond there. Here with the Ace of Swords is a card of justice and truth and clarity, mental clarity. This is Nine of Cups is kind of the opposite for me. This is wishful thinking. Um, maybe playing a role or two. So this this is this is quite interesting. Um, <laughs> this this one always makes me laugh. Or this is big burly man with. Will it focus? Sort of showing a bit of leg in this in this card. It it kind of reminds me of like I said, somebody sort of playing a role. This is um this is kind of where they are right now. They've had some very trying times, the two of them. There's this is I don't think anything diabolical is going on between the two. I think really is they've had a, a bond over failure. The Eight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, this is sort of being put out to pasture. Okay. I'll leave it at that.